today is finally the day the day that i share with you my beautiful vanity um in a few videos before i mentioned how i was buying a new vanity and i'm so excited to share with you so today i'm going to be sharing my vanity tour and my makeup collection so it's going to be a long video but i hope you enjoy also i want to start by inserting a little clip of my first vanity that i ever owed this vanity uh, was a gift from my husband it's when i got into makeup i asked my husband if he could get me a vanity for christmas and this little vanity was so special to me because it was my first vanity and like i mentioned before my husband got it for me as a gift of christmas and he knew how much i loved that makeup so it was really hard to get rid of that vanity to be honest I'm, I'm really excited with this new vanity because it's my dream vanity i worked so hard to get this vanity of course my husband helped me to get it as well so now let's just start with the vanity tour and makeup collection okay my love so this is my beautiful vanity this is how it looks it is pretty big um i believe it's four feet wide i can't remember how tall it is but it is pretty tall um so this is the mirror it has a lot of lights and if i turn on the lights you're gonna notice right away how bright this is it just lights up the whole room i'm not gonna lie to you guys it lights up the whole room so this is what it looks like i also love that you can charge your phone or anything that you want to connect right there but this is what it looks like i love that it is near on top so you can see everything on the top you can see all my beautiful palettes um, anyways, it does have a lot of storage, so I love that about it. And it has the same amount of drawers in each um, side. So my vanity did not come with the little stool, so I did buy that share separate. My husband got it for me for Christmas, but this is what it looks like. I, he did find it at Ross. Then this little rug, I got it at Dollar Tree for $5, I believe three or five dollars i love it it's a perfect side i wish i would have found a different color but that's the one i found and i'm just obsessed of how it looks also let me share with you guys this beautiful decoration right here i did find this wood decoration at ross as well my parents got it for me if you can notice i do have some of my lipsticks right there and then i have some of my setting sprays on top also some brushes and my perfumes and things that i I don't want my kids to reach to be honest i have it out there and then these little pink containers I did find them at dollar tree so i did get two of them to put them in there but i do store some of my earrings right there i did pick up this little container at ross i love it if it's a bunch of lipsticks like you can notice and yep yeah. and my little wall decorations the four of them i did pick them up at dollar tree for a dollar and then i also did show this in one of my videos but i did find this at ross i love it it just stores more on my makeup this is what my little wall looks like and then on the front side is my beautiful vanity also that decoration on the wall i did pick it up at hobby lobby i love it i think it brought everything together so now my love let's get started with my makeup collection okay so let's get started with this side right here like you can notice it has a beautiful glass on top so you're gonna see all my favorite palettes are on the very top as well as my everyday use products anyways let's get started with this first little door right here okay so this palette might be familiar for you guys i have used it in a lot of my tutorials um but this is the celestial tundra by dominic cosmetics i love this palette especially for traveling it's really easy to use since it has a pretty big mirror and the colors are just stunning this is the la colors i'm using i love the name of it and i will test this out for you guys i have my morphe palette this is the number 25a and the shades here are perfectly for everyday use i love the shades and if you don't like color 
and you love something more natural you're gonna love this palette right here i recommend this one for sure and then i also have my little butter london palette um this palette is also really unique and you can use it every day as well but it does have little darker shades so if you don't like glittery stuff we're not gonna like this one this one only has two matte shades and the rest are glittery i also have this beautiful palette here this is the Sher sherad by juvius i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but this palette has the most stunning shades i have ever seen i just love the shades these are like my favorite colors to be honest in one palette so this palette is perfect I have this beautiful palette that is new to my collection i wish you guys could carry this because this palette is super heavy it has glitter i love it it's stunning this is by paris hilton and this is the blush and neutrals it's a beautiful big mirror um it does come with a beautiful brush look at this brush i have not tested this out yet so there will be a video about this palette coming soon so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the review on this Paris Hilton palette. I left this three palettes at the very end because this palette is where I gift for my sister-in-law and I'm just obsessed with this palette and I am going to be reviewing this for you guys as well so make sure you turn on the little bell notification so you don't miss that little tutorial she also got me this beautiful color pop and this is that glitterly obsessed I love the name and look at this glitter can't wait to put this on my lids this is one of the palettes this is the nude mood i love this um all oh, this is by color pop but the, by the way this is a perfect everyday neutral colors i just think this palette is stunning look how stunning these shades are um this one is the other one this is big poppy i just love these names and look this is the perfect warm palette if you need one in your life this is stunning and this one is the blush crush look how stunning this palette is i think out of all the three if i had to choose one i would choose this one in a heartbeat but to be honest all of them are perfect and i can't wait to review this for you guys it's just all the shades are perfect my sister-in-law also got me this beautiful lipis with this palettes and with this glitter she just is so great on my secret santa gift but look how stunning this lippies are they're also by color pop so lippies for you guys they're just a perfect neutral everyday use shades look how stunning they are right, moving on to the second one right here i do have more palettes here and i have some of my lashes here all these beautiful lashes i did find them at dollar tree so if you haven't seen that video make sure you check it out they have stunning lashes and of course they were only one dollar i also have these lashes these lashes were a gift from my mom so i haven't opened them yet but they're just so stunning this is by elf and the shades here are really stunning i haven't tested this palette out yet so I have my la colors this is the luxe um eye palette and look how stunning the shades are i do have a video on this palette if you would like to check it out i will link it down below for you guys um also of course i still have my bh cosmetics carly's bible palette this was her first palette so i have to have it on my collection so you can see this palette has been loved i also have my morphe palette here and this is the number so this is perfect palette and it's crazy that a lot of people had the same issue and lost the color black it's just broke out of nowhere but i'm still obsessed with this palette i also have my morphe 35b palette i love this when i'm feeling uh, like doing summer looks or something colorful i always reach for this palette of course i have my morphe jeffree star palette here this is also really colorful and i love these shades they're super fun and of course i also 
have my James Charles palette and I did find this on clearance so I was obsessed with it just beautiful colors and then I also have this beautiful palette by Wet and Wild I believe they don't sell this palette anymore and it breaks my heart because it's stunning um, it does look a lot like that James Charles palette in my opinion but I have to have it in my collection as well random little things I have here are my little dart tree and it's just to clean your brushes while you're doing your eyeshadow they do come on handy especially for a dollar then I have some eyelash glue I have all my little tweezers here because I do like to apply my lashes with tweezers and then I also have my elf eyeliner this is the perfect eyeliner here in the shade black for little drawer right here i just have all my random little earrings i just like to keep them here um especially when i'm filming videos i can just reach down here and grab some earrings all these earrings are from brew 21 this one right here as well and i just love them this one's i believe i got them at walmart and then this one, my mom gave them to me for Christmas, and I think they're stunning. I also have these little earrings right here, and then I have more earrings here. I did find this at Dollar Tree. I just glue them together because you'll find them separately. And right here, I just keep random lashes. And my next little drawer right here, I just have my little notebooks. I did find this at Dollar Tree. I love it. I'm trying to get into writing my goals and things like that. So I did pick up this little notepacks at Dollar Tree. And then I just have random stuff here for cameras. I also have this microphone. I found this on Amazon. I recommend it. I love this thing. I usually use it when I'm doing makeup tutorial for you guys. And it was really affordable. And then right here, I just have more lashes. These ones are from Dollar Tree. And then I also keep these eyebrow racers here. These come on handy. I recommend them. I found them at Ross for $4.99 original price was eight dollars i have more random lashes i also found this to a dollar tree and look how stunning they are so keep my phone case here this was a gift from my sister-in-law and then i have some hair accessories here did find this ones at dollar tree this one i have just this right here just when i travel somewhere i just like to put my makeup here funny story i always wanted a big vanity to put all my makeup and now i feel like i have so much space and not that much makeup but it's okay little section so in the middle we only have this right here nothing on the bottom i just keep my little trash can there so i do have my salon perfect eyebrow brush in here because i do use it every single day so i like to have it on the very top and then i have another of my favorite palettes on the top this is the ace beauty scarlet dust palette this palette is really unique i just love every palette that has a mirror i also have my violet boss essentials pro series eyeshadow palette with the mirror and look at the shades really stunning festival palette i did get this in a boxy charm stunning the shades are really beautiful and also has a pretty good size mirror this is what the shades look like by anastasia beverly hills i love anything by her her eyeshadow is super creamy i really like it also has a beautiful mirror and it did come with a brush i have my baked browns by Dolls of colors palette this is again an everyday palette i love using this palette especially for work days and i also have this palette here this is the naked three urban decay palette this palette was actually a gift from one of my husband's cousin and then of course i have my morphe translucent eyelid primer in this door since i have all my eyeshadows here then i have this mascara here this is the big echo by tarte i love this 
mascara especially for my bottom lashes and then i have my royal affair by ph cosmetics also has a pretty nice mirror and look how beautiful this palette is super super colorful and of course i have my three two face palettes i feel like i would never get rid of this palette i just work so hard to get these palettes and um, these are like the first palettes i ever asked my husband to give me for christmas so every christmas i feel like he got me one and i believe one of them my brother gave it to me for christmas i can't remember which one but this one is the chocolate bar i have my chocolate bar as well and look how crazy this looks my kids probably got into my vanity so i'm really sad i hadn't noticed and then i have my sweet peach Too face palette and moving to my left side I have all my skincare products i don't do my skincare as often as i should in reality so it's really sad but i have really good products here this is a glow, this is the glow recipe watermelon glow sleeping mask. Of course, I have that ultra healing lotion here. You can find this at Dollar Tree. Super good if your hands are really dry. And I have my eyebrow products here. This is by Shea Glam and this is in the shade Dark Brown. And I also have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade um, Ebony. I have my e.l.f. Poreless Pretty Primer. I use this every single day. I'm obsessed with this primer. I feel like I should get rid of it, but it's by Tarte. And I love anything by Tarte, so I still keep this. But I believe I got this in one of my boxy charms. Next products are the number seven. Um, and they're supposed to be really good to cover the dark circles. This is to cover dark circles, and this is to correct dark spots on your face. Uh, so I also have this. I did find this at Dollar Tree. This is supposed to be really good to help your blood circulate through your face and also prevents wrinkles. I also have this little advanced skincare mask. I have only tried this once. And then I also have this right here. This is by Kate. And this is supposed to smooth and firm your skin. And I also have my... Uh, rose facial oil you can apply this before your makeup and it is a really good product and it also smells beautiful then moving on with my favorite products from dollar tree and these are the facial mist they do have the cucumber one and they also carry the watermelon I was able to find i barely found this at dollar tree but this is the soothing facial toner and also cucumber so i'm sure if i love the mist i'm also gonna love the toner i can't wait to test this out for you guys and then i also have the glassy touching so this is supposed to be like a primer this is to help exfoliate and tone and brighten your skin and you can use this every night or every morning find these little containers at dollar tree by the way i basically have all my loose powders my bronzers my pressed powder my blush my highlights in here so this is the artist couture and this is a, a diamond glow powder so it's basically a highlighter highlighter right here by laura seller new york and I also have this by Mary Kay, and this is a, a cream highlighter. So I love putting the cream highlighter and then putting this one on top. Makes the best highlight combination. And I also have this one. This is the Glow with the Flow highlighter, and you can find this one at Dollar Tree. You can also find this one at Dollar Tree. It's the LA Color Highlighter. And this is the best highlighter I have ever tried from Dollar Tree. I have this random product here. This should be on the top. But this is the Brow Bar. So it's for your brows. It also comes with a little mascara for your brows. Really good highlight. This is by Wet n Wild. Then I have this beautiful highlight this is one of my favorites like you can notice it's almost gone and on to blush this is the Seattle London blush I literally use this every single day and then this two little blush right here I did find this at Dollar Tree and I love the 
huge one. This one, I love it. It's an oldie but a goodie, and it's by Wet and Wild Color Icon. I have this beautiful blush. This is by Milani. To be honest, when I bought it, I didn't even want to use it. I just love the detail of this blush, but it's stunning. I love this. This one right here is by e.l.f. and I love it because it has a good size mirror, and it comes with a blush and a bronzer. I don't remember what I got it, but this is the City Color Matte Blush one. I found it at Dollar Tree and it's a beautiful blush. Look how stunning this blush is. Now moving on to the bronzers and contouring palette. This is by e.l.f. And like you can notice, you can highlight and contour your face with this palette. And while bronzer, I love this bronzer. Like you can notice, it's almost gone. I really need to get a new one. And then I found this at Dollar Tree and I couldn't believe it. This is the best. Um, bronzer you can find. This is by Heart Candy Glow All the Way. My favorite bronzer that I use every single day is by Milani. And then I also have this little Too Faced Chocolate um, bronzer. This is by Ciate. I love this powder. It works great. This is the Everyday Bouquet loose powder. I also have my Erspawn. You can find this at Walmart. And this is the translucent powder i love this you can use this every single day and it's great it doesn't have flashback either i have the becca loose powder this is another really good powder especially if you're gonna take pictures it works for me it's my favorite loose powder that i have found and this is by maybelline new york fit me this is the loose finishing powder and I also have here the Wet n Wild Translucent Photo Focus loose, pri loose Powder as well. And then here in the very back, I still have my Banana Powder. <laughs> Who all remembers this powder? Everybody used to talk about it. So I still have it. I have my Sephora Powder. This one never gets old. And this is in the shade Tan. This is supposed to be a pressed powder but i use it as a bronzer since it's really dark um but it's a great product to bronzer skin with and then this is the color made pressed powder I did find this at dollar tree i have my fit me of course pressed powder this is in the number two, 230 and then i also have my l'oreal paris age perfect creamy powder foundation and then another LA color. This is a powder that I use to set my whole face every single day. And this, what's crazy about this product is that it's the best pressed powder I have ever tried. And I found it at Dollar Tree. So I always get amazed with that powder. And then I also have my Tarte uh, pressed powder. And this is in the shade Medium. Another little Makeup Forever HD High Definition Powder. This is great for pictures as well. Moving on, I have more palettes. I didn't even remember about this palette, to be honest. But this is the Beige Cosmetic Wild and Radiant. I believe this is, yeah. This is the Bake Bronzer. It's supposed to be a like a highlighter and a bronzer palette. But I honestly use it more as a highlight. It was a gift from my husband's cousin. I really love this. This is the palette 8S. And it's basically highlights, but you can also use them as eyeshadows. I got this from BoxyCharm. I wasn't really impressed with this, but this is a fairy tale storybook cosmetics. And this is supposed to be the Red Riding Hood. I have another studio contour palette and this is by Proficient. I did find this at Ross for $5.99 and original price was $12 and it's just a perfect palette to contour and bronze your skin. It has this little trio palette. It's a bronzer, highlight, and blush. My BH Cosmetics Nude Blush. This has 10 blush colors and this is what it looks like. I love having palettes like this. It makes it really easy when you travel since you have every color you can think of. And of course, when I ordered that palette, I had ordered this one as well. But this is the BH Studio Pro. And this is a contouring palette as well. And of course, more blush palettes. This is the Morphe. And this is a 9B. 
this is all blushes i just i'm obsessed with blushes i'm not even gonna lie and i also have this i believe i got this in a box to charm but this, this is a cover fx has a beautiful mirror and it comes with bronzer highlighter blush um and contour i just love this and of course i have my almar cosmetics and this is just some blush like you can notice i love anything peachy and pink okay my loves we are almost done this is my foundation draw i have a few foundations here um these ones are the wet and wild mega cushion foundation um i haven't tested this out i do want to mention that i did find this at dollar tree so i was super excited this is a great foundation especially because it does have sun protector so i did pick up two of them okay next i have my inflatable pro matte by l'oreal paris i love this foundation i use it every single day especially for work um if you're on the oily side you're gonna love this foundation a few face primers here this one is the wet and wild matte matte primer and then this one is the nyx this is the shine killer primer i did find this little blue container at dollar tree and then this one is the becca ever matte poreless priming perfector this is the best primer i have ever put on my face i love this especially if you use it with the becca foundation which is right here this is the becca ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation i love this foundation it is super full coverage by the way Another full coverage foundation that I recommend is the Huda Beauty Foundation. And this is in the shade um, Dulce de Leche 350G. And then I have my ELF foundation. This is a flawless finish foundation. Healthy Elixide. And the number 755. And of course, I have to have my Urban Decay Foundation. This is a great full coverage foundation. And this is in the number Light 49 Neutral. This is a perfect shade for my skin. If you're looking for something more natural, this is a perfect foundation. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. And this is in the number 600. And then if you're looking for another lightweight foundation, this is it this is the mary Kay cc cream so it is a cc cream but you can use it as a foundation it does have sunscreen and then of course i have to have my stick foundations and these two are by wet and wild in the shade pecan and toffee these are great shades for my skin that's it on that for right there this one right here i have all my nail stuff when i when i do my nails at home this is where i find all the stuff i have some press-ons this one is by the brand kiss and then i have these two beautiful nails i did find them at sheen on the sheen website they're really affordable so if you're looking for affordable press-on nails you're gonna love this one they have great um nails to choose from it's also by shine it's basically have everything to do my nails at home i have this right here for shellac nails i have the nail polish remover i have some clear tips and some white tips as well i don't have anything now i have so much space but i don't have enough makeup moving on on this side i do have all my brushes and then I have this little makeup storage right here. I did mention before I found it at Ross. So all my brushes are right here. I really need to wash them. And I have a few stuff right here on this. This little wood uh, decoration. My dad made it for me, so it's perfect. I have some lipids here. There are too many to go through. I have more foundations over here for some reason. My Run Decay is here love this foundation and of course more um foundation more uh cab one d foundation sorry all these brusher containers i did find them at dollar tree so let's start with this one right here right here i have basically all my concealers this little clear compartment right here i did find it at dollar tree so back here i have all my little glitters I have many colors i have all my glitters and then right here, I have all my 
eyeliners. And right here I have all my concealers. You guys already know most of them. I always use the same ones on my videos, but this is the e.l.f. Kama Concealer. And then I have all my mascaras right here. On the second one, I just keep this beautiful balls right here. I did find them at Dollar Tree. They should say hello, Georges, with some eyelashes. It's super cute. And I just keep my little beauty blenders on these two containers. I'm washing some of them. Some of them are drying right now. And then I do use this um, blush cleaner to clean my brushes that I really need to clean them right now. But this is what I use to clean them. Also, I have some lotion. It's always nice to have lotion next to me. Especially because my hands tend to get really, really dry. And more lotion right here. I love this scent. Moving on. Right here, I have more nail stuff. I have all my nail polishes. I have so many colors. A lot of these colors I did find at Dollar Tree. So I recommend all of these. Um, they dry really, really fast, and they're beautiful shades. I also found this at Dollar Tree, and this is just the cuticle oil. So when I do my own nails at home, I love to put this afterwards. Right here, I just have this hair clips. I don't really use them, but I did find them at Dollar Tree. Uh, they have different kinds. Super, super pretty. Um, I'm sure you guys seen them on my Dollar Tree video. If you guys haven't, make sure to check them down. I will leave them down below for you guys. This little container, I also found it at Dollar Tree. So I do have more um, lipsticks right here for some reason. And then I have more nail polishes right there. And on the last one, just random stuff. I have some notebooks to keep notes. I have some lashes right here. And some hair tights. And I also have this Miracle Cleansing Water. I did find this at Dollar Tree, which I was really surprised. Anyways, my loves, that was it for my makeup collection and new vanity. And we are done. I hope you enjoyed this video. I film it with so much love for you guys. Also, I want to mention that I'm going to be super consistent this year. And I'm going to be posting every thursday so make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn on the little bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos i love you so much and i'll see you on the next one